Oh my god, Andy. Look at this cell. It is so big. It must have gone through interphase. It has grown and produced proteins in cytoplasmic organelles, and the chromosomes and centrosomes have both replicated. I mean, the cell is so big. I like big cells that I can't deny. You know, they're perfect for meiosis time. When a cell is large and ready for division, it's G2 phase. Now we'll give you that description. Re -re -re Remix! This is how we do. A diploid separates into four haploid daughter cells. M E I O S. I S. My is forms gametes, and that is what this spells. This is how we do. Five repeated stages form a non-identical cell. M E I O S. I S. My is forms gametes, and that is what this spells. Phase one. Prophase one. Chromatin up. DNA undone. Mature cell up. Process begun. Homologs and synapse one. Crossing nova done. Connector up. This protein structure. Synaptic metal complex dissolves, leaving chiasma top region. Uh, crossing no rod. This tetrad helps cohesion with sister chromatids. Uh, uh, centrosome. Uh, uh, separation. Opposite poles. Uh, uh, spindle formation. Envelope destruction. Kinetochords. Uh, Attached from microtubules. Preparation for metaphase. One. Uh, tetrads line up straight at that metaphase plate. I'm gonna teach you about that metaphase state. What happens after the homologs line up at that plate? But chromatids are attached to one pole. When homologs will separate, opposite ways they go. Interphase, pole phase, metaphase, now anaphase, separation of homologs. Finally! But you best remember that those sister chromatids are still gonna be attached. Now, in telophase, the cleavage furrow is made, but remember in plants, it's a different case. So Each cell has a haploid set of chromosomes. There are both sex and autosomes. And each new cell has two sister chromatids, cytokinesis and the separating business. Crossing over produces recombinant chromosomes, so there's genetic variation across this cellular nation. One last thing before meiosis, too. If you think there's more replication, then you gotta review. This is untrue. This is how we do. A diploid separates into four haploid daughter cells. M E I O S. I S. Meiosis is formed and that is what this spells. This is how we do. Five repeated stages form a non identical cell. M E I O S. I S. Meiosis is formed and that is what this spells. Now we repeat and propase for the second time. That spindle apparatus forms. Now listen to me, Ron. Chromosomes move towards that metaphase plate. Like mitosis. Before they can separate, they got to wait. Metaphase through the chromosomes are lined up straight. Then kinetic cores attached to microtubules separate. On the anaphase, the chromatids divide. At the center, now, single chromosomes move to different sides. Telophase 2 wraps it up when the nuclei form. The chromosomes become dense, and cytokinesis is the norm. Now each daughter's cell is haploid son, so the meiosis process is finally done. Four haploid cells genetically distinct that came from one parent cell. What do you think? Guess my first. Go! You spin my head right round, right round. Would you go down? Would you go? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I'm recording. What? Wait, hold up. Whoa!